Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing another holiday makeup tutorial and um, I just had so much fun with the one that I did before so I'm doing another one. Um, it'll be similar but obviously I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Um, I, I will be using a dark shadow on my eyes and a dark color on my lips. And normally I say that's a no-no. I'm just on an everyday basis I would avoid doing a dark eye and a dark lip but I feel like for the holidays it's kind of okay. Um, in my book, I'm making it okay. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. And um, I'm going to just say this. My daughter is asleep right now, but my son is awake. Uh, my sister's babysitting him. So if you hear him, forgive me. This is real life, people. Um, I am going to go ahead and start with my eyeshadow. And I am, I was so excited to find this palette. Like, you can ask my husband when I saw it in the store. I was, I was, ah! um, it's the new, well, fairly new Wet n Wild No Neutral Ground Palette. I'm just using a C brush. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. As long as it'll get the color on the lid, that's all we need to worry about. Oh, I seem to be a bit absent-minded today. I have already done my full face. I put on my moisturizer, did my foundation, my blush, and everything, um, and put on my chapstick, so I'm starting from there. I'm not going to show you anything but my eyes and lips today. So I've got the color on my lid, and next I'm moving on to my crease. I'm taking the color all over my crease area to blend out the lid color and I'm just using a fluffy brush. I'll list all the products on my blog so you'll find out everything that I use. I really like how that blends together well. Um, next, I'm going to use my. It's a smaller fluff. <clears throat> excuse me. It's a smaller fluffy brush by Sigma. It's the E25, and the shade I'm going to be using is the one here on the top right. I'm just going to pick a little color up and put it right under my brow. in the previous holiday uh, tutorial, I'm going to go in reverse now. So I'm going to repeat the same steps just in reverse order. So I'm going back over my crease with the same shade that I used and um, this is not a necessary step but for me I'm a little like OCD about everything just blending well but each part of the eyes you know standing out and uh, doing its job. So I am going to go back and just do it all over again basically. And because the green is such a pretty green, I am going to be sure to add more of that to my lid. Alright, um, this any step really is optional, but I'm going to use the little brush that came with the kit and I'm going to take the top right color, put a little bit of that on, and applying this on my lower lid. I just included that step because I am going for a dark eye, but I still want my eyes to pop, so I feel like adding a a little bit of a lighter shade on the bottom will help my eyes to pop a little. I don't know, maybe it's just me, I'm weird. I am done with my eyeshadow and now I will be moving on to eyeliner. Um, I'm debating. I've done my eyeliner process so many times for you guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and record myself doing it. Um, but you, you can fast forward through this if you want. <laughs> 
Oh, and I always curl my lashes before I do my eyeliner so that it doesn't interfere with the application of my eyeliner. Funny story about this. Um, so, my sister, who is home from college, her boyfriend is in the Coast Guard and he's stationed here. Um, <laughs> And for whatever reason, I'm not sure why um, he was here, but she wasn't. Anyways, I was doing my makeup. I was getting ready in the morning. And he saw me do that part, and he was like, ah, how do you do that? So he was trying to do it on himself, and he could not figure it out for the, li the life of him. And it's really not even that compli complicated. Can't get my words out. It's really not even that complicated, but it was really, really hilarious watching him try. So I gave him mad props for that. Alright, now I'm going to use my Jordana Fabuliner, which is, like, for reals, my favorite. Actually, I went to get more yesterday, and they were out of it. And I was like, no, because mine is almost empty. And I had the lady order it, and uh, she showed me that she did, in fact, order it, because I need it ASAP. Alright, so now that I've finished my liquid eyeliner, I am going to use, um, the, it's actually Jordana Easy Liner Pencil, and I'm going to tight line, but it's really, really embarrassing to, like, record that. I've tried it, and it just looked humiliating, so I'm not going to record this part, but I'm applying it to my upper waterline. It is, that's tight lining. So, uh, while I was doing my tight lining, I went ahead and did my mascara. You guys really don't need to see me do that anymore. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is my false eyelashes. And I, I use these a lot like on holidays or special events um, just because they really, really enhance the look. And honestly, it's not that hard. Like At first, I was really, really intimidated about the process, but it's not hard. Um, I'm not by any means going to give you a tutorial on how to do it because... I'm, I'm figuring it out for myself still. But I am using the Kiss eyelashes and it's the number three. And the glue that I'm using is the Revlon Preci Precision Lash Adhesive. So I'm going to put the glue all over the um, line here and then I will put extra at each end so that it is sure to stay. So. As you saw last time, we need to let this set for like 40 seconds-ish um, because the, the glue needs to become tacky. So we're going to sit here and wait for 40 seconds if you'd like. I could uh, fill you in on life, but there's not really much that I haven't already written on my blog that you would not know. Yeah, um, my kids are sick again. Mm -hmm. It's not very fun, especially when they're teething also. It makes for some rough days. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Things are going good. I hope they are for you too. Oh, so last night my church had um, like a Christmas party, and then we had a white elephant gift exchange. And those are always, you never know what to expect. And my gift, like I, you draw a number and then when it's your number you go up you choose a gift once you choose it you can trade it with someone else you know how it goes so um i went up and chose a gift and it was like the most real looking mouse i've ever seen and i literally lost it like i screamed and i threw it and i was like <laughs> i have really bad memories of mice from when i was in school um up in virginia but yeah I thought maybe your life, your day might not be the same if I hadn't have told you that story. So, just trying to help you out. I'm 
And what I'm doing is um, just pressing against the lash line with the tweezers to make sure that it adheres to my natural lash line. The funny thing too is like boys are so different than girls in so many ways, but especially with sickness. Like Kanan is the most dramatic thing I've ever seen when he becomes sick. And Eliza's just still her sweet little self and you know, you can tell she doesn't feel good but she's not being a crab and she's not like moaning about it all day long. It's just crazy the difference. I love them both. I love each of their differences but you know, it's just interesting. Alright, so I'm going to let this dry. Oh, uh, yes, I was going to tell you, well, I wasn't really going to tell you this but I'm going to tell you. Um, excuse me. We live in a town where there's a really big Coast Guard base and um, we've gotten really close with a lot of Coast Guard people and many of them have been here for rescue swimming training school. Um, they have started coming to our church and you know they just they're part they become part of our family and it's always always hard because you know you're gonna have to say goodbye to them at the end of the course it's like I think 18 weeks of training um, so like you bond with them and then it's like okay bye <sighs> I hate that part I'm not a good I'm not good with goodbyes but the other day uh, one of our rescue swimmers graduated and we're so proud of him but I was a rotten mess I was crying my eyes out I hate saying goodbye and he and my husband have really gotten close to in, in his time here so I think that was part of why I was so sad um, and he also plays on our worship team and my husband is the main worship leader and it's been nice to have him like as a backup in case my husband wants a break you know but we had that happen the other day and the kids I don't it's like hard to explain to the kids that we'll never really see this person again except on Facebook but there's Skype and everything I'm trying to be positive but really I'm pretty sad about the fact <laughs> so alright the glue is tacky and I'm gonna stop talking So while that completely adheres to um, my lash line, I am going to go back to my right eye and I'm going to go over my, um, I'm going to go over where I already placed my eyeliner and that will just help to kind of conceal the fake lashes, the fake lash line just a little bit. It's not really that obvious, but I'm going to do that just to be safe. over um, both my false and real eye eyelashes with mascara just to bond them together. Alright, and then I'm going to do the same exact thing on my left eye, just go over it with my eyeliner. Against it. I don't know why I do this step. I think I, re I watched a tutorial before where it made really good sense why you need to do this step, so I'm just obeying what they said. Alright, now I'm going to go over that with my mascara to uh, bond these lashes. I'm not really like stroking my mascara on, I'm more patting it on because I really don't want to um, separate the false lashes from my lash lines so that's why I'm using more of a patting motion. So everything is done except for the lips and today I'm using 
uh, the Revlon Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stain, and the shade is Crush. So, or, well, it's Crush Big Win. I've used this before in a tutorial, and I do not know how to pronounce it for the life of me. Crush Big Win. The number is 005. So, it's like a cranberry color, um, but I like it, especially at this time of year. So, I'm going to put that on just like a regular lipstick, and uh, not... So if you have uh, read my blog or watched my other tutorials, you know I'm like, <sighs> I have a problem. I, I always apply lip gloss over whatever I use on my lips. Like, Not that I need gloss, especially not with the balm stain because the balm stain leaves an excellent glossy finish, although it's not too glossy, it's like just right. Um, but because I have this habit that I need to somehow overcome, I am going to be applying lip gloss and I'm going to be using the Rimmel Show Off lip color and the color is Galaxy. Um, I recently discovered this line of their glosses and so far I'm really impressed. So this, my friends, concludes our holiday look. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm having so much fun. Like I am all about creating new looks and just seeing how it turns out. I, like I said before, I've never tried this look, but I'm actually really happy with how it turned out, except the lipstick that is on my teeth. Um, other than that, though, I I think I might do another holiday look. We'll see. But hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned it thing or two. Um, if anything, hopefully you laughed because I can be pretty embarrassing. Um, but I will list all the products that I use on my blog and um, I will explain a little bit more in depth like where I placed which color on my lid in, in case it didn't quite make sense to you when I was doing it. So I am done. I hope y'all are having such a wonderful day and I hope that you have a merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year. <laughs> but I will look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much and be blessed.